We'll guide you through how to multi-stream in OBS. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Streaming to multiple platforms at once is super useful. To go and do this, we are going to go and need a plugin for OBS. Now, just before we get any further, make sure you've updated OBS. To do that, click on help and go and click on it, check for updates. As you can see, I've got the most up-to-date version available. Make sure yours is too. Then go and open up a web browser and you need to go and search for OBS RTMP, just like so, and then go to the OBS website at the top here. Now head over to the right and click on go to download. It will open up GitHub. This is in Japanese, but don't worry. Just go and scroll down to assets and here are the downloads. You've got Mac and then you've got the Windows installer. So click on that second option if you're using Windows. It will then go and download and you want to go and close off OBS as well before we install it. That's super important. And go and find the installer in your downloads in your file explorer. You'll get this pop up and you need to go and click on install and it's now finished. Now you can go and open up OBS again and you need to go to the top and click on docs and you should then see the option for multiple output. Click there and then you'll go and get this pop up. And then what you wanna do is go and click on add new target. So what you need to do is add one destination where you want to stream to in, in the, your OBS settings by clicking on settings and adding them. So at the minute I've got YouTube selected. So I'd then go and add the other channels via the multiple output plugin. So I can click on add new target and then what you can do is go and set up the service settings. So for example here, I want the stream to kick. On kick, you need to go to the top right and click on your profile icon and then go and click on settings. Then come over to the left and in settings, click on stream key. You'll go and see your stream URL, which you can copy and you can then come back here and you can paste it in the URL and then the stream key, you can go and copy as well and we can go and paste that in there. You've then got all these other options down here, but personally, I just keep it with get from OBS as I'm happy with my stream settings. And then what we can do is go and click OK and you've now gone and added it. And now what you may need to do is go and make this a little bit bigger. And as you can see, we've then got the start option. Before we go live, what I like to do is just go to the streaming dashboards on the platform I'm using and also just make sure you set up the title, the category and that type of stuff. And then when you're ready, we can go and start streaming. First of all, I'll start streaming in just our normal OBS stream. So that's connecting. And then I'll go into kick and then I'll come into the multiple output and then I'll come into our multiple output plugin and press start. Mine just says new target as I didn't go and name it anything properly. It may take a couple of seconds to go live. And now if we come back to kick, I can refresh here. In YouTube, you may need to click on the expand menu button in the top left, click on manage, and then I've got this stream here, which I can click on and we're now live. As you can see, excellent connection. And then we can come to our creator dashboard. And as you can see, we're streaming here as well. 